Right, we're going to call this an unplanned or accidental experiment. So I've got a large tub here, which last year I had, obviously you see the creeping jenny, but um, some colocasia. There was Escalente and Burgundy stem in here, and this over winter I was happy to leave it or probably just forgot about it. Um, so it's totally open to the elements all winter long. Um, I planned on just keeping the keeping, uh, creeping jenny and redistributing that. Um, and yeah, just uh, as I was about to divide some of this creeping jenny out, um, we've got colocasia started to come up. So again, no protection whatsoever in a tub outside all winter in the UK. And to be fair, oh no, so we've got, we had Escalente and Burgundy Stem Colocasia left in here, and both start to come up again. So let's have a look. You see the Burgundy Stem. So that's a Burgundy Stem. We've got an Escalente small one coming up there. Another burgundy stem. Burgundy stem and this one is green, so that's Escalente. So uh, there you go, that's how hardy these two, two particular species are. But, um, absolutely no thought to protect these over winter in a tub open to the elements we had freezes you know we had frosts we had rain we had cold all winter and these have uh, just started to come up again so there you go just uh, food for thought that some of the stuff that you may not think is hardy quite often turns out to be a surprise So obviously I certainly wouldn't do that with any more ornamental or fancier species of colocasia but I have found that Escalente and Burgundy stem both seem pretty hardy so as much as everyone goes on about pink china being the hardiest probably is the hardiest but these are uh, in my location at least in the UK seem to do okay and go through winter like I say I've got several both of these species dotted about in the in the garden in the ground and they've always come back for me each year but just thought it'd be interesting to to note in a tub or plant away you expect things not to be so hardy because more sort of open to the elements and sort of freezing through as it were but no they've come back in fact the more I look the more I see I see another one coming up here I don't know if you can see that I'm sure if I uh, rummage about in here there'll be more popping up so I'll carefully dig out the creeping jenny because it's going to start kicking in there it's looking very yellow at the moment but the new growth obviously comes out a lot greener just finished flowering so yeah we'll redistribute that through the garden and get the elephant ears out and find homes for them as well so that is a surprise this goes to show how hardy these are right we'll leave it there Thanks for watching, we'll catch you on the next one.